All right, everybody, welcome to What It Takes, a mini series where I ask the same questions to elite coaches, and they talk about what it takes to become an elite coach. I'm your host, Kevin Shaw, and today we are talking with two time elite coach, Catherine Reuter. Catherine, welcome to What It Takes. Awesome. Thanks for having me here. I'm excited. Awesome. Hey, before I dive into these questions, just tell us a little bit about yourself. So I am a stay-at-home mom. I have a four-year-old and a three-year-old. I have been coaching for two and a half years, and I do this full-time now. This is my full-time career. And prior to this, and before having kids, I was an elementary school teacher, had my master's degree in special education, and was actually going to have to go back to work. But luckily, I took a jump into this, and I'm home with my kids now every single day, and I have the best of both worlds, building the business at night when they're sleeping, and then I'm with them during the day. So it's awesome. I love that. Perfect. So glad to get to know you. Uh, hopefully, this will be a phenomenal call. So let's dive in. Remember, these are the same questions I ask every single coach. Uh, question number one, and you kind of alluded to this already, how were you introduced to Beachbody? So it's really funny. So my husband and I actually first started out with the original P90X. That was about nine years ago with Tony Horton. And we were like walking in commercials for, for them anyways. I mean, we were going around being like, X me, X me, you know, saying all of his little sayings from the videos. So we had started out with that. And then fast forward a little bit, and this was now about seven years later, um, I had just had my babies. I had a four month old and I had a 22 month old at home and I had just started T25 actually because I knew the programs worked since I had done P90X before and it got us into the best shape of our life. So I started back in with T25, went out to dinner one night with a friend from high school and his girlfriend had actually just became a coach. She knew that I was doing T25 and she was like, you should become a coach. You should become a coach. You'd be so awesome at it. And, you know, definitely we were skeptical, especially my husband with, you know, very thick headed German, <laughs> but uh, we talked about it. And three months later we debated and, and I jumped back in and never looked back. That's awesome. I love that you started out with Tony. Everybody loves Tony. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's awesome. He is <laughs> awesome. All right. So at, now you started Beachbody. Can you describe what those early days, the early days look like for you? Yeah, so the early days, definitely, I mean, they looked so much different than now when I think back to it. I mean, first of all, it was a lot of stress going on in our life. Um, at the time, I was 35 pounds heavier. You know, like I said, I had, had just had my four-month-old and a 22-month-old at home, so I wasn't feeling my best. I had all that extra weight that I just, I just could not get rid of it. Um, I wasn't sleeping at night, really. The kids are up all the time. And then I was up for the day at like 6 a.m. So I wasn't feeling good about myself. I didn't have that confidence. I was falling into that status quo of, you know, once you have kids, this is how it is. Just be happy with the way you look type of thing. And also at the time, we had so much extra stress because I was a stay-at-home mom. So we were living off of one income. And we had got to that place where we had depleted our entire savings account. We had racked up $35,000 of credit card debt living off of one income. And we were literally going negative by $1,000 every single month. And we were doing everything in our power to try to make this work. I was tutoring most nights. My husband had his full-time really good corporate job, was also owning four businesses. And we hit that point where my husband said, you're gonna have to go back to your teaching career. And luckily it was right at that time that's when I heard about Beachbody and becoming a coach. And I figured, you know what? If anything, this can help me get my body back. I'll feel better about myself. I'll get support from the challenge group. And I am going to earn an income too so I can continue staying home with the kids. So this has changed all of that for us because I had that strong reason and that strong purpose for this has to work. Like there was no plan B. This was it. I, I love that. That's exactly what it takes is there's no plan B. There's no plan B. I mean, I jumped all in. There was no, let's test the waters and see how this works. It's like, no, I want to be home with my kids. I need to lose this, lose this weight anyways. Let's do this. I'm all in. And losing a thousand dollars a month. Yeah. And so this is turning all that around. It got me back into the best shape of my life. And it's literally been the biggest blessing for us. We don't have any of that stress anymore. And like I said, my main priority was to keep being home with the kids. And I am. So I am so, so fortunate. Perfect answer. Okay. Next question. What do you feel are some attributes or habits you have that contribute to your success? 
For sure, yeah. So definitely, I am very persistent. Um, I'm self-driven, a self-starter, and I'm not afraid to work for it. I'm not afraid to put in that work. I'm not an instant gratification type of person. So once I get that in my mind of where I'm going and I have that vision, I go for it. I give it all I have. <laughs> that, that's perfect. That, and the time is irrelevant. Yeah, ex exactly. It doesn't matter how long it's going to take. I know it's going to happen eventually, and I just keep doing what I know needs to be done every day, and that's, that's it. Great, great habits to have. Okay, what advice do you have for a brand new coach who doesn't know where to start? What can they start doing today to start to achieve long-term success? Okay, so I always tell all my brand new coaches that, honestly, if you're a brand new coach, the first thing that you absolutely need to do is definitely start with yourself. You need to make sure you're in a challenge group, you're doing your workout every day, you're following the plan, and you're drinking your shake. So you want to start with yourself so that you can improve along the way, and then you can have also results to share with other people so that way people can see that this works, this is awesome. In terms of the business, I always say, take coach basics seriously. Be in there be engaged, be reading and applying all the things to your business once you learn it and print out the business activity tracker. And those are the things that you need to do every single day. As tedious as it looks, that is what is going to build a successful business over time and to just take action. You know, inaction breeds fear and self-doubt. So you have to just jump in and do it and you learn as you go. And even to this day, two and a half years later, I'm still learning. So it's an ongoing learning process. Oh, that right there was a mic drop. Perfect. I love that. <laughs> we are doers. We're not just planners. We are action-oriented doers. Right. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. Um, what about the coach who is struggling or is thinking about giving up? What advice do you have for them? Well, first of all, I always tell my team, no one is allowed to quit <laughs> unless this truly is not your passion. But what I say to coaches who you know, are talking about quitting and saying that this could not be for them is I tell them, number one, get yourself back into a program. I talk to them about personal development and I tell them that, you know what, it's not going to be smooth sailing all the way. It's not there. You're going to hit roadblocks. You're going to hit hurdles. There's going to be bumps in the road, but it's these, these tough times that really distinguish between who is going to succeed and who isn't. And you have to have such a strong purpose for being here that no matter what happens and what is thrown your way, what obstacle, what hurdle, it's not going to derail you. So if it is strong enough, it doesn't matter what's happening. You're in it for the long haul. Amen. Jeez, yep. this is awesome. Perfect. <laughs> um, last advice question. What is the best advice you've received regarding your business? I've received a lot of good advice, um, but probably the best advice that I have heard was from one of my upline coaches, Keith Callahan. And I remember him saying a couple things. He always said, if you know where you are going with this business, if you can envision what you want your life to look like, and you can really have a crystal clear image of what it's going to be, then it doesn't matter what roadblock you hit, it's going to be a lot less stressful on you because you know you're in this forever. Like if quitting is not an option and you know that this is part of your life now, it doesn't matter if you lose rank. It doesn't matter if a diamond quits. It doesn't matter if another coach quits. It doesn't really matter what happens. You're going to keep moving forward regardless because you know where you're going without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, this is so much fun. I love <laughs> I'm getting all fired up just listening to this. This is awesome. Okay, time for our speed round. You ready for this? Oh, boy, speed round. I like to talk a lot, so let's see. I'll try to speed it up. <laughs> On average, how much time do you spend working your business? I spend about four to five hours a day. What's your average SC each month? 18 points. What percentage of time do you focus on your own business versus your team? I spend about 70 to 80% on my own business and then the rest on the team. And what leadership ladder rung are you at right now? Team leader. Perfect. Okay, folks, it is time now for questions from a hat. This is the <laughs> hat we're going to ask questions from. I hope you're excited about this. This is my favorite part of the whole show. Here we go. <laughs> Catherine. How long do you think you'd survive a zombie apocalypse? 
<laughs> How long would I survive a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> oh my gosh. What's that show on TV, uh, The Walking Dead? I used to watch that all the time. And it's funny because <laughs> me and my husband would always talk about like how crazy that would be. You know, I would just probably really not last long, to be honest. I would definitely put up a fight, but those things are pretty vicious. <laughs> Well said. All right, folks, that was questions from Mahat Catherine Saint. Thank you so much for joining us today. Perfect answers. Guys, this is what it takes to become elite. Thank you so much, Catherine. You're welcome. Thanks so much for having me.